I'm Alan Lucas, Manager, Research and Projects with Utilities Kingston. My name's Hugh McLaren. I work at Utilities Kingston. I'm an Energy Systems Engineering Technology grad from St. Lawrence College, and I work as a service advisor in the Conservation Department. Utilities Kingston collaborated with CERC students to basically try to find the embedded cost of energy in our municipal water infrastructure and delivery. As a multi-utility with uh, water, wastewater, and electricity in particular, we saw the benefit, the nexus between water and energy, and so therefore, if you're losing water, you're wasting energy. So reducing water saves energy, because a lot of people don't think about it, when you turn the tap on, water just comes out magically, but there's a lot behind that. There's pumps, there's the buildings, there's the operators, there's all sorts of energy embedded in that water that comes out. And so if we can reduce the amount of water that comes out, we can reduce the amount of energy it takes to deliver that to your homes and to your businesses. So the students had placed electricity data loggers on a lot of the, the pumps that are used to track the energy use throughout the delivery of, of water. The information that was provided, just how much energy was actually embedded within a cubic meter of water, that was probably the most surprising fact. And in order to reduce that loss, you just have to cut down on the amount of water that you're wasting and perhaps even improve the way you are using the water. I helped to deliver the water conservation incentive programs and through that we're able to give customers incentives for switching out toilets, switching out taps, switching out once through cooling systems which is a significant use of water in our system. Utilities Kingston clients were able to receive over $250,000 in incentives which realized 150,000 meters cubed of water savings which resulted in approximately 70,000 kilowatt hours of energy savings. This was a real world example where they could make a, a serious impact and hopefully take those skills and use them to further their career at, once they graduate from their respective programs. We look at how much water we have, how much we pump out of our central water treatment plant, and how much we're metering. We weren't calculating that within our own operations. Water is used to flush the mains, to measure the flows at our fire hydrants so we can put the ratings on them and color code them. That amount of water was not necessarily being accounted for. It's not revenue. Once we did that, then we start looking at where do we have leaks? Where do we have losses? And so now we got the true non-revenue water, the, the stuff that we're seeing, it comes out of the plant and it just disappears as far as we can tell. So over the last three years, we were able to identify over 440 leaks, which by fixing those, we were able to save 2 million meters cubed. The cost of fixing leaks was basically offset through the Save on Energy program. We were able to get some incentive money from the government for any of the energy savings that we did realize, and we could invest that money back into our municipal infrastructure and our services. The students working on the project probably didn't realize the impact that this would have um, from this particular study, we were able to run with some conservation incentives that we ha wouldn't previously have been able to run with. Uh, I'm extremely happy now to be on the other side of things, uh, working for Utilities Kingston to see that that study that I was a part of when I worked at the Sustainable Energy Applied Research Centre has taken off and, and is used, where are we now, six years down the road. The Sustainable Energy Applied Research Centre outcomes for this project were exceptional. We were able to monopolize and use the information that was provided to translate that to energy savings from lost water reduction in our water system to gain money from the Ontario government through the energy conservation program. So this was a win for us and I believe it was a win for St. Lawrence College.